Well, hello, and today we're going to be playing Thousand Week Reich once again. Um, you guys seem to like Thousand Week Reich quite a lot. Judging by that, my last video got like 11,000 views on it, which was pretty rad. So we're going to be playing as... Well, sorry about your luck, but I'm not going to play Nazi in this mod. I'm going to play the one thing worse than a Nazi, a communist. But I was a joke. Please don't. That, that was a joke. And so, yes, we're going to be doing communism. It depends how wholesome it's going to be. We'll have to see. And yes, someone in my last video pointed, or one of my pre previous videos, that I was on civilian difficulty. Sorry about that. So we'll just be regular difficulty for the time being. Let's uh, let's hop right in. I don't know about you, but these uh, these focuses seem extremely wholesome. A little a little too wholesome. Well, don't worry about it. At least we got Moe's and Nagant's. Suffice to say, with only 10 factories and 33 divisions of supply, I don't really think we're in a good state at the moment. So yeah, we do have a fat munchkin over here, Leventi Beria. Uh, Reign of Terror, f factionalism, a glorious red army which doesn't look very glorious and a pretty shitty economy <laughs> yeah oh we got a gulag rising up interesting interesting well uh not much of my business until i invaded again oh well found the gull uh let's see oh oh god oh i can't show i can't i have to blur that out oh, oh. he's dead and uh <laughs> Yeah, let's just let's just keep how we died in tight wraps. Oh, we can't even do uh we can't even do privatization now. But uh well looks like the union is debating themselves now. So uh fun stuff there. Ooh Zukov. Yeah, while we're uh, debating, I won against uh Germans, so uh it cost two thousand men, but I don't care. Oh here we go. We're going to have to reform the Vanguard party. Oh, we got more stuff. Oh Zukov won the debates. Congratulations to G General Zukov. Yep, and uh, thanks for telling the world that Zukov has been uh, announced as the premier of the Soviet Union. Grand Warlord. Yeah, talk about offensive. Oh, and we got a brand new stinking focus tree with a lot of fun stuff ahead of us. Oh, uh, while the... <laughs> Looks like the uh, the Kanganese tried to escape the hand cutting the uh, cutting hands off, but uh, sorry about that. Not today. Yes, all hail to uh, General General Grand Marshal Zukov. So oh, there's not much of an economy to focus on. So let's get let's get a uh, crack a lack. And finally, we get the fabulous AK-47. Yes, yes, I'm very proud of the AK-47. Yep, there there it is. Mr. Schmittler over here is doing alive and well. And oh, would you look at that? Let me just, uh, oh, that was, <laughs> yeah, this is going to be easy. All right, now things are going to get very, hold on. Now, things are going to get very interesting. Now we, we got to have some more stuff. Let's just uh, quickly go after the other guys, you know, just the usual. Yeah, let's go strategic theorem and give me some of that. <laughs> Deep Soviet deep battle. Ah yes, let's uh let's charge into Siberia next. Oh, oh, oh! How who could have seen that happening? I re I really hope it doesn't fall into a civil war, cause uh, you know I want to get me some of that German clay once I'm uh, done with these guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Huh. Where'd he come from, Khrushchev? You're a little far from Ukraine now, don't you think? Oh, and who could have predicted that? Oh, <gasps> my gosh. Well, yeah, stuff certainly is uh, going down the gutter. I just did a video on this, and I, I don't even think it got this bad. <laughs> Let's start gobbling up Khrushchev here, shall we? And there goes Nova Sub... Nova Sabrisk, Nova Sabrisk, Nova, Nova yes, and uh, let's see, is, are they doing any better over here? N n no, they're not, and uh, let's quickly go a uh, two for one here, and uh, well, take out these guys. Well, uh, damn, it finally happened, all the Germany's going against each other's Germany, and uh, ooh, I wonder who's gonna, who's gonna win that one. Whoa, 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 oh. Looks like America is going to, is going to join the whole intervention party. Good luck against all the Toronto Accord. And, uh, well, there we go. We got one of them. And the, uh, I don't expect the other one is going to be around for, uh, 
for much longer. There we go. There we go. And, uh, mine. Uh, let's quickly check on what's going on in Germany. Huh. Well, they're still doing their stuff, and, uh, from the looks of it, Borman's gonna come out on top. Gobble up. Nor, nor, nor look Ah, uh, yes, and, uh, just a quick little note. The Soviet Isles were basically just our NKVD puppet because, uh, let's just all deport them there so they're out of the country. Out of Suslov? Yeah, so we're in the process of basically just making them self-reliant and isolated from the world, which is, uh, apparently the most convenient way to get rid of them. I didn't really bother with the time lapse for that one because it, it was a pretty boring war, but there we go. We got another one, bites the dust, and once I start sending materials and stuff we can go to war against uh well the big guy which is the russian republic and uh just like last game the emergency uh wehrmacht thingy got cooed by sands from undertale well, let's see if the uh, soviet republic of ukraine accepts our uh our ultimatum oh that's great bada bing bada boom annex and now uh we're we're literally bordering Germany. Ah, that seems to probably be giving Zukov PTSD. Oh, I got all their divisions too. Yeah, I just disbanded all the uh, <laughs> all those divisions that Ukraine gave me, and uh, finally got out of my deficit. Of course, they um, they're all just you know interwar rifles and Mosin and guns and stuff. But uh, a gun's a gun, all right. In the words of uh, Erwin Rommel: The winner isn't who has the better gun, but who has one more bullet in the chamber. All right, and uh, well, let's uh. Pretty sure that wasn't a war in the Middle East, but uh, you might, you might want to stick in for this one, baby. Oh, well, this is a big one. Um, the People's Germany rose up. Interesting, but also here's the thing. The Toronto invasion failed, and they all white-pieced. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait, what? How, how'd they do that? I wasn't even paying attention to that. Oh, are you kidding me? Am I still gonna have a game now? Oh. Right, and there we go. We got 10,000 guns out of that, so I'm happy. But the bigger thing is that now that we have essentially unified most of Russia, I'm going to take this decent, okay army, and we're going to go, uh, well, we're going to do a little pogging over here in uh, Eastern Europe. They really just, oh, they, oh. well, uh, we got you surrounded, Moscow, so, uh, you're mine now. And of course, now we finish all this just to be safe. Let's execute the, uh, the head of the KG, the NKVD, of course. One final war. All right, and <laughs> we captured a lot of guns from that, per usual. I'll quickly take out these guys. Gobble. And, last but not least, the, we have taken back Moscow. What? What? Wait. Oh. Huh. Well, this is going to be a conflict of uh, interest. I'm supposed to still go to war with you. Eh, at least they aren't going to join the Toronto Accord now. Mwahaha. <laughs> well, and uh, the first things to clean up. We are going to be cleaning up the Baltic Fe Confederation. And there we go. Oh, it looks like we got a couple guys in the south to take care of. Oh, well now, hold on. While we're here, <laughs> my, you know, my, my, might as well. You've been invaded by the, by the... The Soviets, like, what, three times now? And, well, there goes Poland. <laughs> I gotta say, we're quite racking up the, uh... The countries to the tier list. Oh, and Finland was kind enough <laughs> to 
kind enough to give in to our ultimatum that, hey, we want our stuff back. So, hey, uh, that's pretty nice of them. Oh, and there goes the Islamist. Yeah, let me just uh, quickly gobble up all these. Whoa, whoa, wait. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. And the last state to join us, uh, Armenia is in. Well, to Romania, I guess. Alright, and I'm going to quickly invade Romania. You know why? Because I can. Well, uh, Reinhard just declared the Greater German Reich, um, over all the territory east. Well, uh, yeah, uh, that's not gonna happen. And, well, yeah, that's that over with. I got a bunch of tanks out of that, which is pretty nice. In the meantime, let's, uh... Yeah, let's go finally deal with the whole, uh, Hydric problem that's just been chilling over here. Alright, we're gonna go defeat the monster, even though we just built a brand new airport. Yeah, that's, uh... <laughs> well, that was pretty easy. Oh, and, uh, sorry about that, but, uh, all my now- What's next in our focus tree? Oh, yes. Get ready for the, uh, the Great War. Oh, would you look at that? It's me! <laughs> Actually, I don't know which one of these two are me. They're- land, their people, their blood. Our time has come. We must begin our final campaign of liberation against Germany. The full strength of the Soviet Union must be called upon in order to succeed in the second great patriotic war. Long live Soviet power, death to Nazi Germany power. I don't know, looking, looking at the, uh, the, the division count, I think this might be pretty, pretty easy. <laughs> A little bit of an anticlimactic ending if you, if you ask me. The final crusade has begun. Cue the music, uh, oh wait, hold on, hold, hold on, let's get, there we go, finally we'll destroy Germany, even though they, they kind of went with the revolution, uh, they're not under us and they still exist, now we must do what Yazov would be proud of, killing every single German, oh I'm about to enter Berlin for the first and final time, yes. Just as we are about to finally finish Germany in ashes, in an ironic twist of fate, our great marshal and leader General Zukov died on a visit to the newly seized German capital. Oh. <laughs> he went into the Volkshire and it crushed him and killed him. Oh. Well, there may have been foul play, but uh, so now we gotta pick. We gotta. S because. Uh, not to mention that almost all of his, uh, his buddies were in the Volkshire when it collapsed, so, uh, now we gotta pick from the bottom. That's what the thing says, the bottom of the proverbial barrel. <laughs> Let me take this real quick. Well, yeah, since literally the entire cabinet and other officials died because they got crushed by a part of the, the thing, well, now we gotta pick some random guys. So, obviously, eh, I'm probably going to go with... I'm actually going to have to pick the cripple because, you see... The more communism there is, the better the healthcare. And when there's a whole lot of healthcare, that's extreme communism. Well, at the end of the uh, that uh, um, focus tree that I went down, it was a nice little event about how uh, <laughs> the Volkshire share. I'm pretty sure I'm not saying that right. Volkshire is now an undying symbol of the triumph of Russia. Well, I could basically keep going down the uh, Soviet Disability Equality Act and reforming the healthcare system, but I am tired, and that is it for this game. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, if you want to see more, subscribe, and I'm getting close to a thousand subs, so I gotta say, that's pretty cool. Um, thank you for watching, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. when the NKVD is sus.